Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My dear brothers and sisters, whenever Rasulullah Sallam was informed by any issue by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you found that Rasulullah Sallam, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, was used to always send Jibrail alayhi salam to inform Rasulullah Sallam. For example, the issue of Hajj. Hajj itself, Fardu Hajj, was mentioned to Rasulullah Sallam about via about Hajj for via Jibrail alayhi salam. Also, when you look to other issues to, in relation to akhlaq, other issues in relation to other in, in relation to the Deen of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, always used to come via Jibrail alayhi salam, except one issue, one issue, and what was that issue? That was the issue of Salah. The Salah itself, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala basically took Rasulullah up to the Arsh and he told Rasulullah that the Salah has become obligation upon my Ummah, upon his Ummah. And this Salah itself is very important. That's why Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala took Rasulullah directly to him and told him himself, not via Jibreel alayhi salam. My dear brothers, how is our Salah today? Question yourself. How is your Salah today? When you are praying your Salah, where is your mind? Your mind is somewhere else. When you are praying your Salah, what is the Shaitan saying to you? What is the Shaitan reminding you of in your Salah? There are many issues Shaitan will come to you and begin to remind you in your Salah. And my dear brothers, if you look to the Sahaba, when they used to pray their Salah, there are narrations that sometimes the Sahaba, when they used to look to other Sahaba praying, they used to think they are dead in their Salah when they used to be making sujood. So how is our Salah? Question yourselves, my dear brothers. This important issue that Allah had to tell Rasulullah directly himself. Question yourself, my dear brothers. Because if your Salah is correct, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will save you from fahsha and al-munkar, meaning from the evil and the corruption. And anybody who prays Salah properly, by Allah, by Allah, you will never see any corruption in him. He will be a true Muslim. But the question is today, how is your Salah? Question yourself, especially in this month of Ramadan. How is your brotherhood? How is your fasting? Is it really for the sake of Allah?